guys. Um, first of all, please excuse that high-pitched squeak in the background. It's my fucking laptop. For some reason, the fan just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes, and I can't figure out why. It's just running really hot. It's burning. Like, it's so hot that um, to heat up a burrito, I just stick it next to the fan, and it heats my food up. Um, it is quite hot. I've got it sitting on an egg carton to kind of let some air flow, but it's just, it's just, like, it's not even doing anything right now, and it's so fucking loud. Like, it's really annoying, and I would close it, but for this video, I kind of need it open because I've got a notepad there, stuff I'm going to read you guys. The topic of this video is unpopular music for gothic alternative people to listen to or whatnot. Um... I get made fun of a lot um, by my own family, as a matter of fact, for my music choices. Uh, maybe it's because I'm 40, maybe it's because I just don't care anymore, maybe it's just me, but I'm long past the point of being made to feel ashamed or embarrassed due to my music choices. I've said it before countless times, I don't actually consider myself goth. Um, I like the gothic style. I like just wearing whatever I wear. I don't even think I dress exclusively goth because I meddle around in lots of different things. Like I like trip pants. I like stripy clothes, stripy pants. I like flowy skirts. I like corsets. I like 50s pinup retro-y stuff. I like band shirts and t-shirts and I like pink stuff and I like glittery stuff and I like ball gowns and I like tutus. I mean, I like a huge variety of things. I like yeah, it's it's not like normal stuff as such, although I do also like pinstripes and the kind of professional look as well. Um, I don't wear a lot of that stuff just because I'm lazy and I'd rather just have a dress or something I can just throw on and leave the house with. But I don't like to call myself goth or just say, oh, I'm goth, I'm goth, because I don't honestly feel like I am anymore. And my music tastes have always kind of reflected that because I've never really liked uh, a lot of goth music to me. It's very dull. It's very boring. It's very just... Duh, duh, duh. I mean, there's hardly anything goth that is interesting to me. Um, just beautiful and melodic, catchy. It's got to have that certain element of, you know, what do they call it? An earworm that kind of gets in your head and it just sticks in your ear and you just can't get it out of your head. And that's what I like, the kind of catchy beats. I like 80s music more than anything else. I like 90s music, 90s rock. I like a lot of radio-friendly music. And, um, and then I do like my heavier stuff as well. But this video, I'm going to list some bands and some songs that I like that usually get me made fun of. Now, I do want to also say... A lot of people I know personally, and I have known, they like other kinds of music as well, but they always feel pressured like, oh, I can't let anybody know my guilty pre my guilty pleasure is, you know, uh, fucking Christina Aguilera or something because people are going to look down on me and think, oh, I'm, I'm a loser or I'm pathetic or something because I like this pop song and I find that really fucking stupid. Why the hell should somebody look down on somebody else for liking a song? Um, why should you feel embarrassed about anything, especially a song? I mean, a song's not like changing your personal style, you know, looking different, which that's a, a more obvious thing than something that you like to listen to. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm kind of having brain farts all day today. Um, Changing the way you look, changing your style is far more obvious and noticeable than liking a song that's something different than what you usually like, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it doesn't impact anybody else, and it shouldn't matter if you like a country song or some country songs or some jazz songs or whatever. I love oldies. I love 80s. I actually like a lot of 80s rap because I grew up pretty much in the 80s and I liked everything that I heard on the radio. Um... With my little list here, I just kind of went down my phone and got some stuff. It's by all means, by it's not by any means a complete list. And I've left out all oldies and all 80s and freestyle mostly because those are kind of no-brainers. 
and I've left out the other like rock bands. I've only listed stuff that people might say, hmm. And um, these are all really good songs, so I'm going to put it either in the description at the bottom so that people can't cheat and look at the list just straight off the top. Uh, and or I'll add it to the end of the video so maybe you can, I'll probably, I'll probably put it in the description at the bottom so that you can just copy and paste actually. I'll do that so you guys can check out some of these songs if you don't know them. And um, these are my, I guess, guilty pleasures that I'm not guilty for liking. I like different stuff and these are unpopular music choices that people will probably judge me for and to them I say, fuck you. You've got no right to judge me. Anyway, start from the top. Uh, Aaliyah, Try Again. I thought she was awesome in that song. She was so fucking pretty. And um, that song from way back when just kind of kind of really caught my attention. Uh, Missy, Lose Control. I loved that song because it had like a very freestyle reminiscent beat to it. It was very, very catchy. I just don't like the middle where it gets kind of like boring. And then she just like flat out raps. I like it more when it's like the actual song. Um, Rihanna, Umbrella. I recently found this song. I know everybody else has known about it for years. Apparently it's an old song. I did not know that. I was in the store with Dorian and I heard it. I didn't know what it was and I just heard the chorus and I was like, that's pretty catchy. What is that? And I had to look it up and I was like, oh my God, it's fucking Rihanna. I'd never heard her music before. And I actually really, really love that song. I think that she's beautiful. She's really, really pretty. I just don't like the way she always seems to have to be naked. Like, we know you've got tits. You don't have to show it all the time. Um, but that's her choice anyway. It's just this new wave of everybody that's in music. Apparently, it's not their talent that speaks for them. It's their tits and ass, which kind of sucks. Um, Britney Spears, Toxic and If You Seek Amy. We used to dance to those and the dance club. Um, Imagine Dragons, Radioactive. Hated the song when I first heard it. Dorian showed it to me and then it just gradually kind of grew on me and now it's one of my favorite songs. Um, my Chemical Romance, The Ghost of You. I like a lot of their old stuff, but The Ghost of You is probably one of my favorites. It's just like a really beautiful song. Some of these you guys will definitely know. I also like a lot of trance. Um, one of them is ATB, It's a Fine Day. Um, then there's ATC, All Around the World. Uh, Bella, Hearts Island. That is an amazing and so soothing, beautiful song. I found that on Catfish and it caught my ear right away. It was one of the songs that was actually not listed, so I had to go digging and digging and digging. But I found it, downloaded it, and listened to it all the time. Um, Blood on the Dance Floor, Bewitched, and La Petite Morte. I love those two songs. I don't really like their other stuff, but I love those two songs. The Bravery, An Honest Mistake. Uh, Collage, I'll Be Loving You, that's freestyle. Uh, David Guetta, Shot Me Down. Enrique Iglesias, Balumos, I love that song. I used to like have such a crush on him. Uh, John E.K., uh, this is also from Catfish, and the song is called Cold, Cold World. Um, I also love Portishead, which is along those kind of jazzy, soft, old-school sounding songs, but I think that can kind of be considered alternative. Um, but if you know them, they're really fucking good. Um, Keoma Lambada. <laughs> uh, Katy Perry, I Kissed a Girl. I also like that song... Um, I forgot the fucking man, Aqua, Barbie Girl, I don't know, I like it lots. Uh, Keen, Somewhere Only We Know, Kelly Clarkson, Behind These Hazel Eyes, there's a band called Manson, M-A-N-S-U-N, and the song is called Skin Up, Pin Up, and he's got a really annoying voice, but I, as Logan quite often tells me, I, I gravitate towards singers with really unique and really annoying voices for some reason. I can't get enough of them. And he's got an annoying voice, but it's such an awesome song. Um, Meg and Dia, Monster. I don't know how I discovered this song, but it's also a new one that I discovered not too long ago, and I quite like it. Mill and Cullen, Fingers Crossed. Nickelback. <laughs> I only like this one song how you remind me, but everybody talks shit about Nickelback, but I really like this song, and I don't care what anybody says about it. 
Orgy, Fiction, Dreams and Digital, and Dissension. Papa Roach, Getting Away with Murder. Pitbull Daycare, You Make Me Feel So Dead. Poe, Angry Johnny. Pop Will Eat Itself, Underbelly. They have a couple of um, songs that are fucking amazing. I can't really, I, I don't really know what genre they fit into. Uh, they're very, very unique. I saw them on, um, what was it called? Alternative Nation? Is that what it was called? MTV way back in the day in the early 90s and late at night they used to have the like really obscure weird music and I saw them uh, and I really like them. Underbelly is my favorite song from them though. Um, there's this singer that's recently started coming out and making headlines. She was on one of those X Factor shows or whatnot and her name is Sada Vadu. And uh, my two top songs from her is Love is a Battlefield and The Actress, although I do recommend her other songs because she's she's quite talented. I usually hate covers. Um, she calls herself a living doll and she does these weird doll movements, which I really don't like. It's like painful to watch her. I don't think she does it very well, but it's her thing. Um, and even so, there's no denying her actual talent. She's got a great voice on her and um, those two songs are, are really, really good. Um, Santana and Rob Thomas, Smooth, fucking grew up with that song, heard it all the time when Doreen was little. Seal, Kiss from a Rose, Shakira, Whenever, Wherever, my dad used to like that song, he used to listen to it, so that always reminds me of him. Uh, Shania Twain, You're Still the One, I've mentioned that a few times, um, that's mine and Logan's wedding song, just the lyrics. The lyrics themselves explain everything. So many times we could have given up and stopped, but we wouldn't be where we are today. And I, I like the song anyway. I've liked it ever since I first heard it. And I always told myself, one day, one day, I'm going to have that playing at my wedding. And I did. Many, many, many years later, but I did. Uh, Alien Ant Farm, Smooth Criminal. Uh, this band, everybody likes. Especially goths, but... I don't like them, but I only like this one song, and it's, um, don't shoot me, um, Die Antwerd, D Antwerd, I don't know how to say it, because I don't pay attention to them, but Ugly Boy, I, for some reason, I love that song, I don't like any of their other stuff, uh, Will to Power, Dreamin', P.O.D., Youth of a Nation, um, Magneto, Vuela Vuela, that's a Spanish song, used to hear it walking towards J-Town, downtown El Paso, and some of the shops would play it, and I'm like, oh my god, voila, voila, what is that song? It's so awesome. It is really, really catchy. And on this list, lastly, this is probably one of the most surprising. Uh, I'm going to butcher this name, so I'm going to have the link to the actual video. But I think his name is Kaiyu Sakamoto, and I think the song is called Sukiyaki. Um, but it's an awesome song. Um, I know I know it, but I don't remember from where. It's obviously somewhere from my childhood. Maybe my mom, maybe my stepmom. It's it's Asian. I don't know if it's Japanese, Chinese, something like that. And the lyrics are beautiful, so I think this is a lyric video. Um, but it's such a catchy song. I really, really like it. And a lot of times, like, I'm not embarrassed to listen to this stuff, but I'm... I do get hesitant because I don't want to deal with other people's eye rolls and like, really, what are you listening to? Like, um, Easy E and the Posse. <laughs> I used to have that cassette, um, Dope Man. I like that song, you know, um, ICP, uh, Under the Moon, and uh, there was another one that I liked as well, um, you know, uh, Salt and Pepper, Push It. I liked that song. There's quite a few songs that aren't something a gothic alternative person should listen to that I like and I don't care what people think of me for liking this stuff and if you like other stuff you shouldn't care what people think of you either it's just music who gives a shit really um but yeah I just thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys some of the songs that I like that might surprise you because it would be looked down upon or I'd be called a poser for it or something stupid like that. Like, I'm such a poser for not being the goth that I never said I was, I guess. Um, 
I do have a pretty big music collection. Like, as you can see, I like all kinds of music. I've got all kinds of genres. So if you guys are interested in finding out more about music, let me know. I could list rock. I could list black metal. I could list heavy metal. I could list 80s metal. I could list 80s rap. I could list goth. I could list alternative shit. I could list 80s. Did I say 80s already? Freestyle. Um, I could list a lot of stuff. So, um, Faith Hill Breed, that's another song I liked too. But anyway, if, uh, if there's anything that you want me to talk about music wise, just let me know and I could make a music, a, a video and I could suggest some bands to you and I could try to find links for the videos and things like that because I don't mind sharing what I've got with other people and, um, yeah, not saying I have a, an amazingly awesome better taste in music than anybody else because nobody has a you know better taste than anybody else it's all relative you know but I I am of course proud of what I have and what I know and I do have some really good bands that I would love to share with you guys if anybody was interested if not that's all cool it's all good but um until then I will see you guys next time